Welcome. In this video, we will discuss a FX momentum strategy. In a momentum strategy, we buy the currency pairs which have performed very well in the past and sell the currency pairs which have performed very bad in the past. The momentum strategy works because some market participants act quickly on the news, while others respond slowly on the news. Therefore, the trend is likely to emerge and last for a longer time period. Let us create a simple long short momentum trading strategy. The logic works as follows. First, create a trading universe that consists of 7 currency pairs, second, fetch price data for last 50 trading days, and calculate the percent change, third, sort the currency pairs, by 50 day returns, fourth, go long on top 3 pairs, and short on bottom 3 pairs, fifth, allocate equal amount in each of the pairs, sixth, repeat step 2 to 4 at the start of every week. There are some additional considerations to make in the above strategy namely ranking criteria number of pairs to long and short capital allocation to each of the currency pairs and rebalancing frequency we have sorted the currency pairs based on 50 day returns a higher returns indicate that the currency pair is performing well relative to others and a lower returns indicate that the currency pair is performing badly relative to others for illustration purpose we have used 50 day returns to rank the currency pairs some approaches to rank the currency pairs could be based on technical data fundamental data sentiments data or a combination of all three of them the logic to rank pairs is a very important component of the strategy and it is where you get an edge therefore a substantial research needs to be done to finalize the logic we went long on close to half of the currency pairs and short on close to half of the currency pairs the number of trading pairs to long and short can be optimized in the training set and validated in the test set. We have allocated an equal amount to each of the currency pairs. Another approach would be to allocate capital in proportion to the expected return or expected risk adjusted returns. Every strategy expected to predict the future over a different time period. In the above strategy, we are working with 50 day returns to predict the returns over a week. Based on the components used, to rank the currency pairs you can determine the time period over which, the strategy will predict the future returns, and then determine the rebalancing frequency. In the next video, we will learn to code this strategy, in Python using Quantra BlueShift platform and FXCM data.